Mm, yeah. I mean, maybe we can give them another chance, right? Yes, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Today I bought the brand new 717 from the developers of Captain Sim. Yes, Captain Sim, known for their incredibly ugly online store from 2005. Their add-on aircraft for Microsoft Flight Simulator that are maybe a bit pretty to look at, actually. But when you take a look into the cockpit, they suck because they barely work like the real aircraft. Basically just all stolen from the 747-8 that, uh, you know, is already included in the Microsoft Flight Simulator. For example, you can definitely see that here. This instrument screen looks so different from any real 777. You know, they're more recent they're playing the C-130. I was very much um, annoyed by because it was really only the exterior model that they sold but there is no cockpit to it. They have achieved to release the worst add-on I've seen ever for the flight simulator. Sorry, I have to calm down for this video. Let's go into the cockpit though. Hit the V button. That hasn't done anything. That, that hasn't done anything. It doesn't do anything! Great, Captain Sim. Everybody, just yesterday they released their new 717-200 for $18.88, $18, which is a very good-looking price. Yes, right now it starts on sale. Normally it costs $30. For this, you get the beautiful 717 indeed, yes. But you only get one livery, and that's this relatively ugly CS livery. In order to get more, perhaps you have to buy it. 717 livery pack for $3.88. This actually implies that there won't be any public liveries. Yes, you can't make your own livery for it because they haven't released like a paint pack or something as far as I know. So yes, you have to buy livery. So we're going to stick with this one. Let's pretend it's uh, CS Airlines. Yeah, the livery that they have for years. What annoys me about this one is that the USA flag is literally flipped which is great. But let's actually get serious. Let's get into the cockpit and let's talk about what most people hate about Captain Sim. Yes, we start with the negatives. I mean, we've turned this plane on using the battery switch and actually those switches are okay. See, oh, all right. Yeah, these instruments turn on immediately. So no, you don't have to align IRS. But something you see is that the instrument panels are a bit off. I mean, we can turn on the APU here, right? There we go, APU master. We can select the panels down here. Let's go to APU. Yeah, the one that doesn't have anything saying on it. And it's just not really working. Perhaps we can turn the air on as well. And maybe then the engine's already. There we go, fuel on, it's good. There we go, we can turn the engines on. Looking great. Engines are starting. You can also see that on the outside of the 717 airplane. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. That sounds very much like an Airbus here. Yeah, that's what you're able to tell. These instruments are a la Captain's and Classic, stolen from another plane from a Microsoft Flight Simulator. Yes, the Base A320. Like, take a look at, for example, this FMS right here. It's basically the FMS stolen from the A320, but painted green. Also, these instrument panels. That doesn't look good at all. So this is practically a Captain's M Classic, once again, taking what is practically an A320 and then putting the 717 skin around it, which is kind of the equivalent to uh, putting a Skoda chassis of a car and put the surroundings of a Ferrari on it. You practically still are sitting in a Skoda, but you, you act like you're in a Ferrari. Does that make sense? Yeah, 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 not too good. Oh, well, I mean, we can maybe then test the flying capabilities. Does this fly just like an A320 as well? Let's maybe take it off here from... <sighs> Courchevel Airport. Maybe not a very A320 friendly place, but come on, let's do this. I mean, something they did at least, and they did get that right very much as the primary flight display. Overall, the cockpit is like semi-functional. If you're like very basic and don't want like full-on handbook realism of an airplane, this will still be enough for you. Uh, I, uh sorry, these reviews suck of mine, sorry. Maybe let's try to land at Long Beach, California. You know, that's the airport where the 717 was built. Ah, uh, well, you know, the 717 generally is a very unexplored plane on the simulators. The only other time I've ever flown the 717 in the simulator is an infinite flight back in the day. Yes, this is, of course, this plane was relatively unsuccessful. Not many people know it. Only 156 of these were built. I mean, we all remember it as kind of a successor from the MD-80. I mean, this was basically the MD-80 2.0 
hotel with glass cockpit, but still the same basis of airplane, which is not bad at all. I love the MD-80, the mad dog. This plane is practically like the softer, more elegant, and more modern version of the mad dog. And this one sucks a bit more. Let me get back to the problems of this airplane. For example, something that a lot of people pointed out so far is that the yoke is missing, which is true. There's literally a yoke missing and I can't get it to show up. No, this plane is not flown by gesture control from the pilots. It's generally still got its yoke in real life. This one doesn't. Overall, a relatively dodge, a little bit buggy here, but things do work here with the beautiful A320 <laughs> MFD shows us that we're heading right towards KLGB. Looking good, we can already see it. Mm -hmm. Try to come in for a landing, get that landing gear down on this huge landing gear switch. Looking great. I mean, I've heard you can land the 717 MD-80 DC-9 type series pretty hard. <laughs> Come on, it's trying to come in here now. 130 knots. Mm -hmm. I don't even know what that's trying to say. Speed land. That might be a bit broken. Come on. All right, we might be a little low here. Oh, 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 that was not good. Oh, I kind of, kind of reminds me of a real DC-9 now. Try to stop this plane now, put the reversers on. As you can see, we've got the nice shovels come up. That is pretty good yes from the outside this plane is incredible i mean genuinely now that we're actually on the ground we have turned our engines off we can actually demonstrate what captain sims added new we can go under this panel here which shows tablet aha uh -huh. external animation controls that's interesting let's press on it here we can open stuff apparently how do i do that so this one's been described as being pretty hard to access you have to like press on the stuff uh -huh. Come on here, try it. It's funny how it even says A320 Neo ACAS here. Yeah, they stole that. Come on, let's try it again. Come on, you can do it. Uh, yeah, there it is. Ah, that's that's managed to get it open. Ah, that's great. Yeah, okay, this is interesting now. Mm -hmm. And here we can clearly see what Captain Sim can do best, and that is texture modeling. You can take a look at this beautiful 717 engine right here, which has been fully modeled. <laughs> take a look at that. This looks kind of cool here. Emergency actions have been removed here. Take a look at the radar here, or just right under the nose cone. That is really nice. Stuff like that has been done really well. Like if they were just to collaborate with someone who can do avionics properly and a proper plane, that would be great. Other than that, we're just left with a good skin, a really good exterior to an A320neo. Anyway, not great, not terrible. It's a shame that things like, for example, you cannot even walk into the cabin. That's not possible. Whereas my new details like the jump seat for example has been added in quite nicely check this out you can put that in put that back and meanwhile we have a plane that totally sucks so what is it doing okay the flight model might be off too because the autopilot quite obviously isn't working as it should uh plane is crashing itself despite the autopilot being turned off overall who should buy this plane maybe some very huge fans of the 717s even though this plane would only disappoint you then maybe someone who would kind of just want to fly around a little bit in the 717 that's not realistic maybe someone who doesn't care about having the highest realism standards that would make sense or someone who wants to hand fly because the autopilot is kind of broken for anyone else, you should uh, stick to the Fly the Mad Dog X add-on by Leonardo Software. The MD-80 is way cooler anyway. Very much more old school. I like that more. So everybody, thank you so much for watching this video. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. As always, good night. We've entered the Matrix. Now, thank you very much to my highly supporting members like Jamie Ashton, Mike C, James Duram, Ragings, Met RLG, Matt Van Z, Moritz, Bellhausen, Knott's Enthusiast, Shadow, New the York, Ryland Williams, Kelly Chaos, John O'Brien, and I'm addicted to Airbus A380s.